This is freaking insane, bro. This is what happens when you live in Fresno. Oh, how the tables have turned. Well, kind of. So what I mean by that is a few videos ago, we literally uh, got surrounded by cops because we were attempting to sell stolen wheels, which um, obviously I didn't know they were stolen at the time. Fast forward like two weeks and now we're in uh, this position right here where we just got robbed. So I did actually shoot some clips talking to the park rangers because this actually happened in, you will never guess where, but I'm gonna pull this flyer out. There you go, Woodward Park in Fresno. Uh, shout out to Fresno for always making us feel welcome as well as Woodwork Park for making us feel real safe there when uh, I literally parked this right in the open and yet they still pretty much broke in. They stole the radar, unfortunately. They also stole Estrella's wallet, which uh, they actually ended up dumping out the air tag, so at least we got that back. Didn't actually steal the plates, uh, which is a good thing because that would have been an issue too. So just like the other video, I did record a good amount on my phone because it's honestly one of the first instincts is to just start recording the process. Um, but with that being said, I will come back to you guys after that fact. This is freaking insane, bro. This is what happens when you live in Fresno. So you said they took your radar? Yeah. But how much is your radar, man? $700. Uh, the only car I saw that was uh, the Range Rover that backed in right here. Nice. Well, the only because there was a, a vehicle here that had nobody in it, no. and that was right here. But what kind of and then the one that the pulled up right here that was kind of like to me it looked suspicious was a it was a Range Rover, an older Range Rover pulled it back in right here, and that's when I came back over here to get, grab one of the things. Can't even enjoy a day, bro. That is crazy. Yeah, they stole the fucking radar. What was there? So you had your wallet in there? Yeah, my wallet. Because they threw the air tag. There was an air tag there. Yeah. So we're literally over there just taking some family pictures. Got the ears and everything else. But walk over here and, and sheesh. That's what happens. Okay, so Living in Fresno. Morning, So right now I actually hopped into my dad's Tacoma. I'm driving around pretty much the park to see if I can find them. Honestly, I'm like 99% sure I know which car did it. Uh, when we were actually taking the pictures, we realized we forgot um, a bow for my daughter. And as I was pulling the bow out of the truck, I noticed a Range Rover with some out of state plates backing up in front of me, uh, into the stall in front of me. And basically when we went back to go see that we got robbed, that was the only car that was missing besides the one that was uh, next to us originally, but the one next to us had nobody in there and we were just trying to enjoy some photos out here for the fam That's crazy, man I don't know how well you guys can actually hear me, but it is literally freezing obviously with the window missing She's over here all cold. I feel bad for the kids, but luckily we have blankets on them So right now we're literally just driving back. Obviously the windows missing. So it's super cold But man, they even stole my fuel. Look at this Where's the gas at? All right, that might have been my fault. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Jaden, look at you with your big old ears. <laughs> and we even have the Easter Bunny ears right here. Again, it's just real unfortunate that this is kind of the situation. At the end of the day, um, they did steal some valuable stuff. The radar runs around like $700. It was a Uninen R7, uh, which is very unfortunate. We literally run the radars every single time we go in the cars for obvious reason when you're driving a Cobra and you're driving a wide body car over here. However, fortunately, we still have another radar, another R7. Luckily, we have two of them. Now, I know I'm pretty much SOL on the radar and obviously her wallet, we already canceled out the cards that were in the wallet. Luckily, uh, she actually forgot to put her ID and uh, two of the credit cards in her wallet. So thankfully, those were not there. Uh, so we don't have to deal with that problem. Especially the ID, having to order another ID is just a pain. Now, honestly, I'm not really sure on how much I showed. However, I have a really good assumption of which car actually did this. Uh, so basically, Estrella had forgotten a bow for our daughter. So I actually came back here, I grabbed the bow, and then uh, as I was stepping back, there was another car right here that had nobody in it. It was clear, no tint on the window, so I could see inside. And then there was a Range Rover that was literally backing up right there. Now, because we were doing Easter photos, I literally just grabbed the bow and pretty much ran back to the shoe. However, that 
right there stuck out to me just because on why would you need a backup and right in front of me first of all second of all there was uh some many open spots around us and they also had out-of-state plates uh but when we came back around that was the car that was missing so obvious uh you know process by elimination you can definitely just assume that car is the one that did it uh, which sucks because I actually went ahead and drove around looking for it and I couldn't find it because obviously they had bounced at that point. And the spot that we were actually parked at is meant for photos. That's literally where all the photographers go as well as there's like a nice garden right there. Um, but basically anyone who parks there isn't there for like barbecuing or anything like that. They have a bunch of different sections for those kind of things. Uh, that section is really mainly for photos. So there's no way that that car pulled in that way and pretty much left that quickly if they're going to take photos um so again i'm like 99 percent sure that was the car so i did tell the park rangers but honestly they can't do anything they're not going to do anything um so literally i'm just kind of screwed so with getting the wheels taken by the cops for a thousand dollar loss and now losing the radar for eight hundred dollars and all the other stuff that was kind of stolen um march has been pretty pretty bad i ain't gonna lie so for sure again we lost some more money to be honest with you it sucks it is what it is nothing you can do there However, this is gonna be frustrating because now my family car is down Easter tomorrow, uh, which we were planning on taking the truck obvious, for obvious reasons. Again, it's the family car. Um, but the other thing is, I honestly don't know if my insurance is gonna cover just the window. I think that's just gonna have to be out of pocket. Now, to be honest with you, I really have never really been in the situation to where we got robbed like this. There was one time in Vegas when we were really young, they stole all our stuff out of our family car, uh, even like my baby blanket. Um, you know, everyone gets like a baby blanket but they stole that to pretty much carry out all the goods. Needless to say, definitely drop down below what you guys would do in this situation or what I'm supposed to do. Uh, literally, we're gonna have to just clean this out right now. I got the shock vac. We're gonna go ahead and pull it up and start vacuuming all this glass out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw on this trash bag on the top to cover for rain because it's actually started raining when we were driving back home. California is really weird. I'll point the camera at the sun, but it literally started raining on the way home. But honestly, like I said, just let me know what you guys would do or what you think I should do at this point. Um, honestly, March, like I said, has not been it, y'all. Uh, but I appreciate all the new subscribers. Again, if you're not yet subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. It would help out a lot. And at this point, I will catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully, it's something good, man. You know, the Dark Horse is actually getting some work done. So hopefully, we can do a video on the Dark Horse. Is that a gas receipt? Yep, that's a write-off. All right, so I'm going to go. Okay, obviously, we have all this up here and all this on the side, and again, some on the other side there. So we're making some progress right now. We still got this area to do, and again, I'm gonna have to open the back door and start getting to the back there. Uh, but I'll be honest, vacuuming up was kind of soothing. It's like literally sucking away all my problems. I wish I could do that, uh, but we're gonna keep on getting at this. So it's definitely not the best tape job, but it will go ahead and do, so that way we just protect the interior. And there you have it. So that's gonna go ahead and be our temporary fix. But that's gonna go ahead and be it. Again, if you're not yet subscribed, definitely consider it because it would help out a lot, especially in situations like this.